it is important that the die cage is inserted correctly into the machine. With the piston retracted and the motor turned off, install the proper die cage into position with the alignment slots and shoulder bolts. To determine the proper digital crimp diameter encoder setting, again refer to the crimp specification decal mounted on the cylinder housing. This decal refers only to barrel crimp style hose and fittings. For complete information regarding flat crimp fittings and hose, please refer to the FT1330 owner's manual and the AeroQuip crimp diameter chart in the AeroQuip crimp specifications bulletin. AeroQuip FC410-12 high pack hose calls for the red crimp die cage number FT1330-200-51 and a digital setting of 962. Set the digital crimp diameter encoder by simply pushing the buttons for the correct numbers to appear in its windows. The color-coded die cage is also identified by the number stamped on it. Correct positioning of the fitting within the crimp machine is necessary to properly attach the barrel crimp fitting. For straight fittings, positioning the locator is accomplished by loosening the hand knob, sliding the assembly into the correct position, followed by tightening of the hand knob. For proper alignment, the scribe ring at the skirt or hose end of the socket should be even with the front of the dies when the fitting bottoms out against the backstop. Hold the fitting in this position while hydraulic pressure is applied. Elbow assemblies may be crimped by visually locating the fitting with the scribe ring even with the front surface of the dies. To complete the crimping operation, turn the machine on and depress the foot switch. The dies will automatically crimp the fitting to the proper dimension. Once the foot switch is released after the full crimping stroke, the crimp dies will return. If the foot switch is released before the full crimp stroke is completed, the dies can be returned by pushing the jog return switch. To ensure a quality product, the crimp diameter should be checked after the first of each hose style and size is crimped. When checking barrel crimp fittings, use a set of standard dial calipers equipped with AeroQuip FT1297 cal adapters and measure within the center of opposing indentations on the socket. A thread micrometer or modified blade micrometer may also be used to obtain measurements. The FT1330 crimp machine can also be used to assemble flat crimp style fittings on AeroQuip 1 and 2 wire braid hose in sizes up to 1 and 1 quarter inch and on 4 spiral wire hose up through 1 inch. A complete listing of these hose styles may be found in the AeroQuip FT1330 product bulletin. Since cover skiving is essential on all hose styles prior to attaching flat crimp fittings, we recommend using the AeroQuip FT1279 auger attachment with the FT1230 skiving tool, or using the FT1230 skiving tool in an FT1097 assembly machine. When skiving FC195-8 hose, use the FT1230-8 skiving tool to automatically obtain the correct length. The skiving tool dash number corresponds to the dash size of the hose. Correct skiving is important. A properly set skive tool will produce a clean skive like this. If the hose is improperly skived, when too much or too little rubber is removed, adjust the skive tool following the directions supplied with the tool. For demonstration purposes, we will be using one half inch AeroQuip FC 195 AQP hose and an AeroQuip flat crimp fitting with die cage number FT 1330-200-4. After skiving, slip the socket on the hose and insert the nipple, making sure the socket and nipple hex are flush. 
Referring to the crimp diameter chart in the owner's manual and the AeroQuip crimp specifications bulletin, we find that one half inch FC 195 AQP hose requires the crimp die cage number FT 1330 200 4 to crimp the 1401 8S socket. Refer to the owner's manual for the target encoder setting. For this example, the setting is 516. Because of slight differences in manufacturing from machine to machine, this setting will bring the fitting very close to the diameter specified in the AeroQuip crimp specifications bulletin. Crimp diameters can be changed by changing the encoder number at a two to one ratio. For every thousandth of an inch required in crimp diameter change, the encoder is changed by two. The larger the encoder number, the smaller the crimp diameter. After the initial crimp is made, measure the crimp diameter and compare it to the desired diameter of 950 thousandths to 956 thousandths of an inch. The difference is then multiplied by two and that number is added to the encoder setting of 516. Recrimp and check again. For proper crimp alignment, insert the hose into the machine. Adjust the backstop until the proper crimp alignment is obtained. When properly aligned, the die jaws should be positioned about 1 16th of an inch beyond the socket, toward the connecting end of the fitting. Refer to the AeroQuip crimp specification bulletin for correct fitting crimp length details. Elbow assemblies may be crimped by locating the fitting in the same manner. To complete the crimping operation, turn the machine on and depress the foot switch. The dies will automatically crimp the fitting to the preset dimension. Once the foot switch is released after the full crimping stroke, the crimp dies will return. If the foot switch is released before the full crimp stroke is completed, the dies can be returned by pushing the jog return switch. When checking flat crimp style fittings, Use a micrometer or caliper and measure across the middle of each opposing set of flats formed on the socket. For crimping of other AeroQuip products, such as Teflon hose and fittings, refer to the FT1330 owner's manual for complete instructions. An optional dust cover and light are available for the FT1330 crimp machine. You can obtain the light by ordering AeroQuip part number FT1330 3-68. The dust cover is ordered by part number FT 1330-3-67. The AeroQuip FT 1330 crimp machine is designed for quick, easy crimping of hose lines, featuring color-coded drop-in die cages, a precision digital encoder setting, and easy-to-use front-loading design. The FT1330 is the answer to your crimp hose requirements. It's just one of the many new problem-solving products from AeroQuip Corporation.